Hi, my name is Stephen Lindemann, and my favorite public lecture from the semester was uh, Dr. David Hu's lecture on urination time. Uh, Dr. Hu's lecture was full of jokes and laughs, but it was ne nonetheless focused on real science. Uh, during this lecture, Dr. Hu talked about two very interesting phenomenon, the length of eyelashes and the time it takes to pee. These two areas of study are not very conventional things for an engineer to want to study, which is likely why the research won an IG Nobel, but it turns out that they can be helpful. Uh, Dr. Hu talked about two rather unconventional areas of study, and at least one was inspired by a rather unconventional situation. This first topic was that of the length of eyelashes, and it was inspired by the fact that when Dr. Hu's daughter was born, he noticed she had no hair on her head, and yet she possessed rather long eyelashes. Uh, this inspired him to research into eyelash length, and he found that the length of an eyelash is approximately one-third the width of the eye. He also found that the length of eyelashes is related to the drying out of eyeballs. Uh, through his research, he was able to find the length, uh, one-third the width of the eye, was the ideal length for diverting airflow around the eye, thereby reducing evaporation of moisture on the eye. Uh, the second topic Doctor Who covered, and the area I found more interesting, was the topic of urination duration. Doctor Who researched the duration of urinating in a broad spectrum of mammals, and found that almost all mammals over 3 kilograms of weight take approximately 20 seconds to empty their bladders, give or take 13 seconds. Doctor Who and his team discovered that the cause of this has to do with gravitational force and the length of the urethra. Despite vast differences in bladder size, mammals are able to empty their bladders in similar time because animals with larger bladders tend to have longer urethra. This means that more pressure builds up in the urethra as a longer urethra holds more liquid and thus leads to greater pressure from gravitational forces. Uh, an example of this that I found in uh, researching further research of this topic was that uh, at the end of a elephant's urethra, the pressure is equivalent to that of a three-foot deep pool of water. Uh, listening to this talk about urination duration inspired me and my friend uh, Ryan Trickett to test the findings, and so we recorded how many seconds we took to pee over the course of a week and recorded them. After one week, I had recorded an average pee duration of 46 seconds, which is uh, well over the average time found in this study by Dr. Who. Um, however, this result is likely skewed by poor timing technique, and I don't think there's anything overly uh, strange about me. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, all this pee talk has nature calling.